Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, everybody. Uh, we wanted to come on just for a little while, just to uh, encourage your souls, just to empower you, uh, just to let you know that we're lo we love you and we're praying for you. And uh, to not give up, don't give up, don't give out, don't give in. So I know things uh, are, are uncomfortable right now, downright painful, uh, but look to the hills from which cometh your help, your help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Um, so he has the whole world in his hands. We've been singing that. Uh, now we have to know that. We have to live that. He has the whole world in his hand. So this uh, pandemic has not taken him by surprise. It has not taken him off guard. That God is still in control. He says, Lo, I'm with you always. That means always. That means every second, every minute, every hour. So he hears your cries. He's seen your tears. And he has his arms wrapped around you so stay close to him even even when the pain wants to pull you away go ahead in the middle of it and just go ahead and give God praise I just wanted to come on and just encourage your souls just for a few minutes um, just to let you know like I said that we we care and, and that God cares the most he says, cast your cares upon me. Uh, all you got to do is just let him have it. Uh, it's too much for you to carry. So lift, lift that weight. Uh, so a lot of us have been trying to carry that weight. And it's going to cause us emotional distress. Some of us are already feeling overwhelmed. But I just want to remind you on today that you are an overcomer. Uh, that you can do all things through Christ which strengthens you. So whether you are based or whether we are bound, that we still know that God will pull us through. And so right now he's pulling us through. Just want to share Psalms 34 and 19. It says, many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Many are, are the afflictions. So uh, we, we know that uh, it was never told to us that there was only going to be sunshine and never rain. But through the rain, through the midnight, through the pain, through our ups and downs, that God is still God. That God is going to carry us through. So many are the afflictions. And so some of us may be feeling afflicted right now. We may be feeling uh, like the pain is too overwhelming right now. Uh, so Psalms 34 just declares that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all not some out of them all not a few out of them all the Lord delivers them uh, from uh, delivereth him from them all many of the afflictions so uh, then we're reminded of the word that says these light afflictions are but for a moment but they're working a greater weight of glory they're working a greater weight of glory so I just wanted to encourage you I wanted to let you know that even when we're talking about um, these light afflictions, it just means that on one side of the scale, we have the afflictions, we have the pain, we have the grief, we have the, uh, the uncomfortableness that comes with it, but it does not move God. It doesn't got that weight of glory is going to outweigh your pain is going to outweigh your situation is going to outweigh your predicament. So hold your head up high. Be encouraged. It's all right to cry. But I came to let you know that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I came to let you know that trouble doesn't last always. So I'm praying for you, praying with you. We know that God is Jehovah Rapha. He is a healer. We, we know him to be Jehovah Nisi. He'll fight our battles. We know that he is Jehovah Shalom. He is our peace. And the peace of God will keep us in the peace of God. So God is going to give us a piece of his peace. And we have to understand this to maintain just whether we are a, a, a base or whether we are bound, that God is still with us. He walks with us and he talks with us. He is our shepherd. And so we have to understand that even at midnight, that even with midnight, mid, midnight only lasts for 60 seconds. So these light afflictions are but for a moment, but they're working a greater weight of glory. So I don't know uh, who needed this word on today, uh, but I wanted to release it. Uh, I hope that it empowered somebody, that somebody will be encouraged. I believe I'll run on and see what the end's going to be. May have to run on with tears in my eyes. May have to run on uh, not really knowing what tomorrow holds. But I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds tomorrow. And I know who's, who holds my hands. He, he has the whole world. We've been saying that. He, he has the whole world in his hands. 
And so because he has the whole world in his hand, that means he's in control. This has not taken our God by surprise. He's in control. And so we, uh, we are praying for you. We say be encouraged, be empowered, be uplifted. And when you feel yourself uh, kind of sinking down, you got to remember the word of God. You got to remember that he, he is uh, God. He's the same uh, yesterday, today, and forevermore. And those that we've lost, we got to remember John 14. It talks about that he's already prepared a place in my father's house of many mansions. We've seen that. I have my mansion now. So those uh, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And so, yes, we'll have those tears. Yes, we'll cry. Yes, we'll feel overwhelmed. But after through it all, we have to remember that uh, we are overcomers. And so I just want to remind you of 1 Peter 3, uh, 8 through 9. And just to sum that up, uh, just uh, be agreeable in this time where we could, we could lose it. In this time where we could just forget who we are in Christ, it says be agreeable, be sympathetic, be loving. It's not time to lose focus and get into arguments with people in your home, on Facebook, on social media. Uh, but but First Peter three eight nine um, just says be loving, be compassionate, be humble, and that goes for all of us, no exception. So we have no retaliation during this time. We have to stay focused for, for, for those who need to um, uh, who need our prayers. There's no, no time to be debating about anything. And so we have to show that love, show that encouragement. And so I just wanted to uh, just come on just for a few minutes just to share that word with you. And just to let you know that, that uh, God said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Lo, he's with us always. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. And these light afflictions are but for a moment, but they're working a great, greater weight of glory. Be not dismayed, whatever betides. God will, and he can, and he shall. God will take care of you.